next attempt, I think, is going to be to see if we can get them to simply reconsider. This is new tonight. Clackamas County plans to ask the state to reconsider its denial for funding for a program to offer treatment instead of drug charges. Last week, K2 News reported a committee tasked with approving deflection program applications for 28 of Oregon's counties made that decision. Thanks for joining us for K2 News at 6, everybody. I'm Steve Dunn. I'm Deborah Knapp. The county says that denial was over a misunderstanding of how the program would work. K2's Christina Giardinelli is on your side, continuing her coverage of the rollout of these programs and joins us from Oregon City. Christina Clackamas had a deflection program before Measure 110. Yeah, that's right, Deb. And Clackamas County was supposed to get almost $1 million. They say they would have used that money to bring that program back. Now, Clackamas is the only one so far that uh, the grant committee has denied funding to, but it's still set to review four more applications this week. In just a few weeks, drug possession becomes a crime again in Oregon. Lawmakers like Senator Daniel Bonham passed this change to Measure 110. They also promise to fund counties that offer treatment instead of charges. I do think we all agree that a program that doesn't lead straight to jail, that allows for treatment, is the ultimate outcome. 28 counties applied for funding to create a deflection program. On Friday, the committee appointed by the Criminal Justice Commission denied Clackamas County's application while approving 23 others. This week, it will meet again to consider the last four applications. Bonham says he plans to push for the committee to reconsider Clackamas. I think we all agree that a program needs to exist, and uh, Clackamas County is doing well in the space of getting people uh, that are addicted to drugs back to a position of being clean and sober and able to participate in society. Counties are not required to have a deflection program. Clackamas County says without state funding, it won't have one. District Attorney John Wentworth says the denial was based on a misunderstanding about when people caught with drugs will be charged. When a police officer encounters someone on the street and they have an opportunity to cite them, they have to have a place to cite them to. And for us, that's our community court. He says community court is different than regular court. People there don't need a defense attorney because they won't face any charges if they choose to deflect into treatment program. The committee was also concerned that half of the nearly $1 million the county would get for the program would be going to Wentworth's office. Uh, what is your response to that concern? Remember, we started deflection before deflection was cool. So uh, the subject matter expert of that process happens to work in my office. He is the subject matter expert on melding uh, law enforcement and public health. Now, on Wednesday, the grant committee will meet again to consider the four final applications. And that is when county officials and a group of lawmakers say they'll ask that committee to reconsider Clackamas County denial. If that committee decides to stick with that denial, then the county would appeal. We're following that process closely and we'll bring you the latest information for now live in Oregon City. Christina Giardinelli, K2 News. Christina, thank you.